Uh, so welcome everyone to what may turn into my first of many uh, training videos. Uh, in light of uh, recent events that are happening all over the world, uh, I've been thinking about ways to uh, spend my extra time, because as it turns out, um, in the next few weeks I may have a lot of it. And I thought, you know, what better way but to go into my past and see if I can um, put it forward into the future to uh, help people out. Really it's self-serving because I'm doing this to relieve my own stress and to work on my own fitness. Uh, but as a byproduct, if I can help you out, then it's a win-win for everyone. Uh, I always found that when I was a martial arts teacher, and that was many moons ago when I was a younger man, that uh, I got my best workout when I worked out with my students because having them with me pushed me um, to be better and to work harder. So part of uh, setting this camera up and doing it for you, my new audience, is to push myself. Um, so again, yeah, I used to teach uh, martial arts a long time ago. Uh, it's been almost two decades. I was a much younger person, I'll be honest. I haven't trained much lately. So yeah, this is my um, beginning of my regiment to get back into better health and to rediscover some of the, the great things that I learned on my mar martial arts path. Um, this is my website or my YouTube channel, I guess, Zen Tiger. Uh, and I'm doing this completely off the cuff. There's no script. Hopefully it's working out for you. Uh, I got a couple of cameras set up here. I'm probably going to try and edit this, make it interesting. And that's it. I hope you enjoy. And perhaps there's more to come. So we're going to start with Lung 1. Um, this is what we used to refer to um, as the dragon form back in my old school. It's a breathing form, it's a health form. Uh, usually we would start our workouts with this. Uh, it's a four pattern form, there's four sets. Each set is identical uh, and it starts pretty basic. Um, I'll do the motions uh, and then I'll talk a little bit about it and do it again. All right, so um, here we go, enjoy. So again, that is uh, referred to as the lung form or the dragon form, dragon one. Uh, what you just saw there is actually one quarter of the form. You would repeat that four times, starting facing in whichever direction you want, turning 90 degrees with each uh, quarter of the form. And on the fourth quarter, you would end in the same spot that you began. Those of you that are, that are uh, familiar with this form, you may find that some of your motions are a little different than mine. You know what? That really doesn't matter. Uh, there's many different variations to this form. Uh, it's a form that's been around um, for a long time. And as each teacher learns it, it evolves and, and becomes a part of their style. And there's variations to it, changes they make. Uh, some are strictly semantic, some they feel maybe um, are better for application or what have you. All right, but the bottom line is, what's the most important part is the breathing. So you take a deep breath in the nose and then a long, slow, controlled back breath out your mouth. So in, and then out. On the out breath, you want to restrict your breathing a little bit in the throat. So not a, a quick exhale, but like a controlled sigh. So again, a slight tightening or restricting of the throat. And you also want to work on 
applying the abdominal muscles as you go through this. And I'll talk more about that later as we get into other videos. But when you take that breath in, you want to try and use the full capacity of your lungs. A lot of us, we only use the upper portion of our lungs in our everyday breathing. And try and lift up that diaphragm, fill the lungs with air. And as you exhale, try and squeeze every little bit of air out. All right? So, a couple other things. Again, in through those, out through the mouth. From this position here, I hold my breath as I step, and then immediately begin breathing in, and then out on this motion here. Breathe in, and then breathing out. All right? Here, I bring my hands down and cup them. Some people bring them across. Some people do the monkey paws. Either is correct, breathing in, and then out. Then you would breathe in, out, breathe in. Again, this motion may be different than how you do it. Breathing out. On the step forward, you hold your breath. All right, that could be a slow motion or a quick motion. Breathing in, out, in, out. Breathing in, turning your steps, bringing that knee down nice and low, breathing out. And then try to keep your body level. Don't rise up in this portion. Keeping level, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, all the way up. That's a fairly quick motion, out, and then in, and then the controlled out breath. And I would repeat that four times. And that's your lung one, your dragon form. So I'm gonna do the full form here. I'm gonna speed uh, the footage up here probably for all of you. Uh, so here we go. So that's it, the lung one or dragon form. Uh, normally, back in the old days, we would start our workout by doing some stretching, some warming up, and then this form, and then we'd get right into the more vigorous elements of uh, the martial arts workout. Everything from combative bows to rising blocks, downward blocks, reverse, and uh, everything else. Training applications, getting into our other forms, and then usually um, opponent work. Uh, sparring or application. So, <laughs> a little out of breath. That's the first time I've done this for uh, quite a while. Uh, and again, my objective, don't mind the traffic there. I'm doing this off the cuff. The objective here for me is to get fit. 
for myself to relieve stress um, and uh, in so doing uh, perhaps helping you do the same thing dust some uh, cobwebs off your uh, training especially if you're a practitioner of uh, Mo Kempo the style that this form comes from uh, or if you come from another style or perhaps you haven't trained martial arts at all and uh, you want to start somewhere all right again I've been on this uh, planet over five decades <laughs> and uh, my fitness level isn't where I would like it to be. So basically the proof here is that anyone can do this. All right, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, uh, a little bit nervous making this video. It's my first one uh, like this. And uh, you know, uh, this is not something that uh, I ever thought I would be doing, but here I am. Anyways, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and perhaps uh, there's more to come. Thank you. decided to work out a little bit you got to see a little snippet of that uh, too much fun uh, I miss the old days as I'm sure uh, some of you do those of you that stumble upon this video uh, if you do enjoy it please share it with others right if you build it they will come uh, hopefully we can get some more people involved with this and perhaps I won't be, able to be the only one who puts out training uh, videos like these um, I don't intend these for me uh, to give you all the specific details on you know um, how to do a certain technique or what the best style of martial arts is or um, things like that because there is no best martial arts of course really I want to create workout videos that you could play from home and do in your living room and follow along for 20 minutes and just get a workout in all right um, my old school temple kung fu studios I was a student there and then after that I was a full-time instructor for eight years um, you know there's lots of good things and bad things that have been said about uh, TKF and it's a uh, founder Grandmaster uh, Olaf Sutton but the one thing everyone agrees is that the workouts there were second to none and uh, that's part of what I'm hoping to uh, uh, impart to you here um, so that's it come back for more and I would be remiss without um, giving a special shout out to a gentleman whose uh, memorial was supposed to be this um, weekend previous Easter weekend uh, perhaps some of his closest friends uh, did gather that weekend but unfortunately because of things that are going on I'm sure a lot of people couldn't make it so a special shout out to you uh, Master Crossman wherever you are all right hopefully you're watching down on your students and your family all right and uh, again peace to you and uh, those that um, uh, drew benefit or uh, inspiration from your light. All right, again, sincerely to everyone, thank you.